Did you know that American billionaire and investor Charlie Munger issued a final warning about Tesla? Former Berkshire Hathaway executive Charlie Munger issued a warning to Tesla bulls and bears about the future of Tesla, and you'll be amazed at what he revealed about this revolutionary company. Elon Musk overestimate himself. Thank you so much. Well, yes, I, I think over uh, Elon Musk overestimates himself, but he has a he is very talented. So he's he's overestimating somebody who doesn't need to overestimate to be very talented. There's a Bill Maher program about a week old, maybe two weeks old, but but he interviews Elon, and Elon does a terrific job. Uh, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bill Maher, who, I mean, who it, it, it's worth watching. And uh, Elon is, he's a brilliant, brilliant guy. And I would say that, you know, he might score over 170, but, uh, but he, you know, it's, he, he dreams about things and, and, he, and he, his dreams have got a foundation. He would not have achieved what he has in life if he hadn't tried for unreasonably extreme objectives. He likes taking on the impossible job and doing it. We're different. <laughs> Warren, and I, Warren and I are looking for the easy job that yeah. we can identify. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if we can do it playing tic-tac-toe, we'll do it, you know. I mean, <laughs> we no. have a wholly different way of going about it. Uh, yeah. But we don't want to compete with Elon and in a lot of things. I mean, it, you know, it, we don't want that much failure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and it takes over your life, and I mean, it, it, in a way that it, it just doesn't fit us. But but you know, the, there are going to be well, there have been important things done by Elon already, and and uh, uh, it it requires. Fanaticism isn't the word. Yeah, it is the word. No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, it isn't quite the word, but uh, yeah, but but it, 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 it's a dedication to solving the impossible, and 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 every now and then it'll do it. And, and uh, but it would be torturous to Mayor Charlie. And uh, uh, I, I, I just I like the way I'm living, and and uh, I wouldn't enjoy. Being in his, but he wouldn't enjoy being in my shoes either. So, no. Tesla has done several amazing works in the EV industry and is growing at a pace that many of its competition are finding hard to keep up with. In a recent interview with CNBC, billionaire investor Charlie Munger disclosed his bullishness on Tesla as a company and how he thinks that the company is performing higher than expected. The stock investor noted that Tesla made significant contributions to civilization and is well positioned to acquire more market share and continue on dominating the industry. But why has Charlie Munger said this, and why should investors pay attention to this warning? Let's find out. This beast, deliveries, talk to me about how transformational this might be for the company. It's a historic moment. I mean, it's four years in the making, and I think the reason it's important in terms of this could be another growth vehicle for Musk and Tesla, and it also just shows what's happened. 313 area code GM, Ford, peeling back a little on EVs. Tesla is doubling down. And I think this is an important moment. And I, I, I and all you go back over the years, many times been count out, but yet they've come out in a flex the muscles moment. I want to talk margins a little bit more with you, but just on the point you made, bringing up GM and Ford. Are we finding out that people just want Teslas? They don't want EVs? Look, I think that's, it's a serious question here because, you know, wanting an EV, versus do you actually just want a Tesla? And I think you're starting to see now a moderation in terms of EV demand. Now, clearly, Tesla's had the price war that we've talked about in China. That, that's definitely you know, left a bit of a stand. But I do think from a scale and scope perspective, you look at Fisker reducing guidance again today, 
no one could match the scale and scope of Musk and Tesla. And I think that lead continues to further be there. And, and I think that's what's happened, a little humble pie maybe with traditional automakers. Well, John Lawler was on yesterday, uh, CFO of Ford, and he was talking about how there was a different audience for the initial Teslas because it was the first adopters. And they were willing to pay a price premium and they were willing to come in and they were Tesla adopters. The ones who are coming in now are looking for price, value, uh, quality, et cetera. It is a different pool where that can be pulled away more aggressively. In that kind of environment, does Tesla's margin story start to get eroded? I think, and, and, and John talked about it. I think that's, right now, that's the balancing act. Because if you look from a margin perspective, it's really been volume over margins. And the street, you know, so far, that's been the right strategy. Next two, three quarters, you need to see margins trough out, level out here. But when you look at Cybertruck, look, essentially, they'll be losing, let's say, 30,000, 40,000 per vehicle for the next year and a half. Then it starts to become profitable. But that is the near-term pain for long-term gain that they need to do in what continues to be this green tidal wave. Tesla has been working on a supercomputer codenamed Dojo. And this computer has a processor. It's very advanced. It competes with the high-end processors that a lot of the companies like Apple, AMD, NVIDIA, et cetera, are working on right now. And this is allowing them to train the AI data necessary to repair uh, the autonomous car functionality that they've been working on for their Tesla cars and adding over the past several years. And so the head of that program, uh, someone who is a chip industry legend, so to speak, named Ganesh Ben Karanaman, uh, he has left. They have parted ways with him. They have put a new person in charge named Peter Bannon. Uh, he was a former mid-level chip executive at Apple. He's now leading the program. And obviously, when the head of the program leaves, uh, that means there is some sort of strategy rethink going on, and it is a bit of a blow to the effort. So this is extraordinarily significant news, uh, both within Tesla as well as in the modern processor and AI community. Charlie Munger has spoken highly of Tesla, calling it an amazing feat that the American auto industry has been able to reach such a high level. Munger noted that he is surprised that Tesla is performing so well, further reiterating that this could just be one more crazy thing for the automaker to reach a strong position in the EV business. Tesla has also had several incredible comments from big names in the world of investing, and so this could just be another bullish comment that will keep putting the correct amount of attention on the car company. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla tomorrow. Tesla became one of the most valuable car companies in the world and companies at that, with a market capitalization of over $700 billion. And according to Munger, the car company has made some real contributions to society, and Elon Musk, the CEO, has done some good things that many others couldn't. He further cited that there hasn't been a successful new auto company in a long time, describing what Tesla's done in the car business as a minor miracle. But what does this really mean? Keep watching to find out. But before we do, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. Charlie Munger was a legendary investor with a great investment track record. And so for an investor like this to give such a bullish comment on Tesla, then investors have got to pay attention to it. Tesla has incredible fundamentals with car production deliveries, earnings, profit margins, and technology to name a few. But despite this growth, Tesla stock is currently trading at below $300 and appears to be increasingly burdened by several market challenges and uncertainties. However, we believe that these pullbacks will not stay for long. In fact, the narrative is starting to change. For instance, Tesla is gradually coming out of the supply chain crisis and is now sourcing for most of these raw materials itself. Musk spent a portion of earnings calls last year encouraging listeners to get back into the lithium refining business. Tesla's also struck a deal with CATL, and they've got plans to hold on its batteries and get a grip on the supply chain. With a good supply of batteries, then Tesla would have a better chance of actually reaching its 2030 production goal. According to ARK Invest, EVs are expected to scale from about 8.5 million in 2022 to about 60 million units, roughly 75% of the market, during the next five years. And the company's CEO, Cathy Wood, has said that this estimate could prove conservative. Over the last two years, ARK Invest has laid out several price targets for Tesla shares when factoring in robo-taxis and FSD. This latest model from ARK Invest takes into account those two future items and how they settle on a price target of $500 by the year 2026. Wood has praised Tesla's advantage over rivals and potential value of $25,000 vehicles. 
and according to her, it's going to be a very difficult thing for the competition to beat, as no one will be able to come anywhere close to it. Arc's 2026 price target for Tesla stock is about $500 per share based on its EV business alone. And according to Arc Invest analyst Tasha Keeney, this represents additional context to the 2026 price target of $4,600, which the firm announced in mid-April of last year. Keeney noted that the firm is removing autonomous driving and any form of ride-hailing services from the valuation framework. And she also noted that Arc benefits from these two factors and it will drive more than 60% of Tesla's value over the next five years. Autonomous driving is the next frontier and is poised to unlock trillions of dollars in value and it will be one of the largest societal impacts since the iPhone. Due to the nature of technology, it's believed that autonomous driving is going to be a big deal if it is ever achieved. However, without the right disruptive culture, there's no way to maintain a dominant lead in autonomous cars. Since autonomous driving is a subscription model, cost, leadership, electric vehicle efficiency, and safety are all paramount to maintain this lead. And the company's got the right culture and mindset to maintain that lead. This is why Tesla is at an advantage in the autonomous driving industry. The automaker is continuing to increase its car efficiency and innovative solutions, and each of these improvements is going to secure a cost per mile advantage, which ultimately results in the most affordable autonomous driving service. Tesla, which also has proprietary data gathered from millions of cars on the road, driving billions of miles, well, it's a pretty big thing, but there are doubts about the safety of the service, and it is expected to be safer than humans driving in the long term. Arc Invest believes that RoboTaxi is going to be big for Tesla, and scaling as well, and these cars will be cheaper and better, which will consequently drive up demand. Even Musk thinks that there's a number of other innovations around the vehicle that he thinks are quite exciting. He thinks RoboTaxi can also be a very powerful product as Tesla aspires to reach volume production by 2024. And he also added that the RoboTaxi could be a massive driver of Tesla's growth. Interestingly, Tesla's EV business is already huge, and so its success with autonomous driving will only be a big plus. According to Cathie Wood, Tesla does not need autonomous ride hailing to be successful as the autonomous industry is doing pretty well, as the EV opportunity alone is also pretty enormous too. This, therefore, means that Charlie Munger's warning should not be taken lightly, with levity, but with utmost seriousness. Tesla is not just a growing company, but it's a force set to change the entire auto industry. What do you think about Tesla's success, though? Let us know down below, and if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to over the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there!